I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Pickens is the guy that we saw Thursday as soon as we got here. Herbie and it was on his way to class, and he can barely make it because he's such a star on this team. Yeah, it's a tough life when you're out there signing autographs <laughs> on the way to class, but he deserves it. He's a, he's a big-time playmaker. This offense finds ways to get him the football, and you know they're going to do the same thing today. They're going to try to find different ways to move him around within the alignment of this offense, try to get him isolated, and if they do, look out. Here come some big plays. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. Once it all, going deep. Incomplete, almost picked off. It's always big when you can get in the way of a pass on third down because you know the offense is bringing it. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Fires it out, and he's tackled at the 45. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. Goes over the middle, intercepted. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. First and 10, ball on the 42. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to go for the home run. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. And they make the stop right around the 16-yard line. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. They get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of yards. That brings, that brings him second and goal. Got his receiver, touchdown. So they go to the air and they come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 57-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Bulldogs really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. 
He's pushed out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. to his receiver and he tackles him hard at the 38 yard line nice pickup as they connect on the pass play but well, they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense properly and the result is a nice game they'll wrestle him down in the backfield you keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback from their own 35 yard line second down He unloads it. Got it. He's into the open field. Touchdown! And they had a tough time defending that one. Well, Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. And doesn't it always seem like he just finds a way to get open? for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 77-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys kind of be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. We're even at seven in this one. Quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Run down after a nice run up the middle. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's tackled at the 41. Middle and stuffed. That'll bring up second and eleven. It's second and eleven. Ball on their own forty. They go with the run. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a deep five on the ball. That'll bring up third and six. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down right around midfield. So close, but they fall short of the first down. You've got to throw the ball a little deeper next time. Don't take any chances of coming up short. And they're coming after this punter. Booming kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. They'll make the sack. I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Makes the tackle. That's a game of 12 on the play. Third down. He airs it out. And he's got it. To the 20. Tackle made right around the 8-yard line. And for Palmer, he takes his receiving yardage total to 100. Well, Brad, this guy continues to make play after play. The quarterback and this receiver are clearly in a zone and feeling it today. Ah! 
brought down at about the three yard line. Rice brings him down at the three yard line. Roger, Roger. That brings him second and goal. Mike 17. And he's taken down at the four yard line. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. Receiver for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Di Maglia looks ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle around the 37-yard line. Around the 33 yard line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. A long way is yet to go, but at the end of one, Tennessee's lead is a touchdown. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set to start the second quarter. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's taken down at the 48. <laughs> Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. On the draw, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Makes the catch and look out, and he's tackled at the 38. bring him down for a loss on the play. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. Second down and 14. Ball on the 43-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Here we go. Here they go on the draw, and they'll lose yards. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up third and long. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Rose, and he's right there to knock it away. Jackson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tennessee up seven points. Chandler gets it on the inside. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That makes it seven. They try to run up the middle, 
Florida, but met in the backfield. Brooks to punt. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it out to about the 36. is it. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Hand off inside, and he hits him hard at the 10. That is a loss of four yards. That brings him second and goal. Second down and goal. Ten yards to the end zone. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Georgia. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. Tacks on the extra point. A four play, 56 yard run. And the result, seven points. Georgia lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's got the corner. And he's tackled at the 31 yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Slings it. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 45. First down. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at the 44-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down. Watch two, watch two. It's a party now. Let's go! Monday! He's going to try and scramble. Room around the corner. Very good tackle in space. He keeps it and maybe gets three yards. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. He sails it long. Incomplete. Almost picked off. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they'll bring him down behind the line. He's really quick with his lateral movement especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. They come out in a five-wide set. Fires complete over the middle. He's out to the 30. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. Here's a 
thrown. I don't think he got anything on that. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 38-yard line, it's third down. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That'll make it fourth and ten. Fields a punt at the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 37-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. They run it for the first, and he stops. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Georgia's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Robertson is the deep man, awaiting the return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 28. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw. Swatted away. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 41. Fires quick. Tipped. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. But you've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. We've played a half of football. We're deadlocked right now at 14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both these offenses were off the chains in the first half. Defenses were completely powerless. David, you know I'm your biggest fan. I believe you're going to be a Hall of Famer someday. Great defender. But every game wasn't perfect. I remember a freshman game that you had at Georgia against Florida. Gators kind of got it rolling. What's that like for a defense out there when, when you feel like they're a step or two or three ahead of you all the time? Well, it's frustrating. And a lot of times, you don't have the answers. I mean, you sit there and you try new things, and you try the stuff you tried all during the week, and nothing works. And then you try something else, and it doesn't work. And 
sometimes it's just that the better players on offense and their schemes firing at a new level or a different level than you are and you you can't keep up but you got to find some kind of positive you got to make some kind of big play so you get that coach on the other side maybe throwing his visor a little bit or getting upset like okay we didn't get there yet i, I, I like that i like that big man i got ball plays gonna work looking forward to seeing this second half i think there's certainly a want for victory a want and a need for victory some teams need this victory reese davis want need got to go get it either way brad and kirk are there to deliver All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Complete and taken down immediately. Brooks is the punter. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You gotta make every possession count. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He lost the ball, and they fall on the loose ball. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Hands off and not much room there as they try to work the left side. the 24-yard line. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Deep ball, laying it out there. And he went way up, and he's got the interception. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Gets out to around the 35. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. From their own 31-yard line, 
Second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Tackle around the 49 yard line. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. And he's tackled right around the 34. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down right around the 22-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. He's on the run, and he's taken down at the 16. And down he goes at about the 13. That's good for a gain of three yards. Fourth down, this should be an easy field goal. Georgia could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Run, 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 run. Here's a handoff, left side. And he's stopped behind the line. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 24. He makes it to the 25 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Throws completely stopped immediately. Robertson back to return it. It's away and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. And to the third and we've got a tight one. 17-14 Georgia. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Got it, and brought down immediately. That makes it 76. 
Georgia is up a field goal. And he just gets rid of it. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 40. Green and he dropped it. Milton the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. Twenty-six yard punt. Out of bounds at the thirty-four yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Gets it, but steps out and will lose yards. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 33. Make the stop around the 35-yard line. He lets it fly. This one is batted away. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Georgia is up by three. snags that one. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. immediately tackled. That's a great tackle at the 32. Steps out at about the 29-yard line. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Zips it out to his runner, and he's got him again. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Gain of five yards. That'll make it fourth and two. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it up, and it's good. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 2014, Georgia. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. 
Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. He scrambles. It's third and long, and at this stage of this game, they probably have to go to the air. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. Makes the catch and look out, out of bounds at the 36. That play was so close to being stopped short. They really just eked that one out by inches. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 43. Lucky, lucky. That'll make it second. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Concentration laps right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver run. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he tackles him hard at the 21-yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The Volunteers will use their first time out of the half. It's the ninth play of the drive. Scrambling around, decides to slide. He got three yards there on the scramble. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Fumble. It's recovered. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. And how about that for some good luck? Might have been some early movement up front. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From the 14-yard line, second down. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds at the nine. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's fourth and goal, and here they go from the eight-yard line. And it all comes down to this play right here. And we're all tied up. on the field he'll try to put his team up by a point he makes the PAT and 
With time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you get a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 33. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's going to try and scramble. And he's level at the 42-yard line. Georgia's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Throws this one out to the left. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. So the kicker's on the field, and this kick is for the game. The kick is away. And he splits the uprights. If they feel the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. He's to the 20. This one's in the books. The Bulldogs get the victory. 23-21. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.